Our highest priority is to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery of valuable software. This is Agile principle number one, and it sounds so simple that many teams just kind of skip over it because it seems so obvious. Of course, satisfying the customer is our highest priority. We can check that box. Let's move on to something else. But there's a lot of depth and nuance in this principle that often gets glossed over. If your team is truly trying to follow this principle, it will drive most of your decisions. In fact, a good percentage of the struggles I see in software teams comes back to not understanding how to apply this principle to their work. Have you ever played one of those team survival simulations where you have to rank a number of items based on how they will help you survive in some specific situation? Maybe you're stuck in a cabin during a raging wildfire in Australia. Or you just crashed a helicopter in the New York Catskill Mountains. It's up to you to decide whether the 20-foot piece of rope is more important than a frying pan, whether the newspaper is more or less of a priority to keep than the bottle of aspirin. The thing that makes these fun is that everyone agrees that the priority is to survive. You might think that the rifle is more important for survival in the winter snowstorm because it will help you signal for help. Your teammate might think about how to keep from freezing and assign a greater priority to the butane lighter. Since you share the same priority of survival, you can work together to make decisions that are usually better than what any individual would come up with on their own. The discussion involves constructive conflict toward a shared goal. I've conducted these types of simulations for the past two decades with all kinds of teams, from young professionals in the back room of a pizza shop to the software engineers working for the central bank of a large economy. Everyone is working toward the same goal and brings their expertise to the table to make the best possible decision. Well, almost, but not quite everyone. I was doing the simulation for a team that was part of a government agency. We divided them up into groups of four or five, walked through the disaster scenario of a crash during the middle of a blizzard, explained the list of items, and let them get to work. As I walked around from table to table, most of the teams seemed to be doing very well. They were weighing the advantages and disadvantages of each of the items they were trying to rank. There were lots of constructive conversations going on. People were discovering all kinds of uses for various items that they had never thought of, and also finding that some of the things that they thought would be most useful were less so when stuck in the middle of a snowstorm. One group wasn't doing so well. While most of them were busily trying to weigh the pros and cons of each item and trying to understand how it could help them survive, one lady was focused on a very different priority. Her only focus was on trying to get the bottle of Xanax at the top of the list. No matter how much the rest of the team tried to convince her that the drugs would be worthless if they all froze to death, the matches just didn't make it to her priority list. Neither did the blankets, emergency radio, or anything else that might have actually been useful. The core issue was that her sense of priority was different from everyone else. Her priority was to make sure that in the simulation, the drugs didn't get pushed to the bottom of the list. I have no idea why, but it was fascinating to watch because it so vividly illustrated the importance of the first Agile principle. Our highest priority is to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery of valuable software. When a team isn't fully bought into this principle, individuals are going to have random other things as their highest priority. I've seen situations where the highest priority was to employ lots of developers because that's how managers obtain prestige at the organization. In one case, the managers of a project wanted to hire 50 developers for a project that we ended up doing with less than 10. I've seen other teams where some individuals' top priority was to use a particular architecture they had always wanted to try. Early and continuous delivery were relegated to a distant secondary priorities because the particular architecture occupied the top spot. Others were focused on implementing some framework they had created, and that framework occupied the top spot of any decision. These are the types of common problems that are solved by this Agile principle. Our highest priority is to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery of valuable software. If our highest priority is to satisfy the customer, we now have a rubric for defining success. If we are going to satisfy them with early and continuous delivery of valuable software, we have a game plan and a timeline of when we should start delivering something. This doesn't mean that no one will have any different ideas of how to follow this principle. 
But getting everyone aligned on the top priority means the team will be able to find the best way of achieving the same goal instead of spinning their wheels trying to figure out what goal they should head toward.